Hello everyone, welcome to Fashion Calgary. My name is Anja Basak and I'm here today in Calgary at Supreme Menswear Store with uh, the owner, Darren Biederman. How are you, Darren? I'm doing fabulous. Yeah. So nice to be here today, Darren. Uh, what a pleasure for us to be able to feature your store. I have a few questions about the Supreme. It's been uh, in uh, fashion on the fashion market for three generations. That's a huge accomplishment. Uh, when did you take over and why did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, purchased a store from my parents in 1994. Mm -hmm. And uh, why did it happen? I think just just natural progression, right? Mm -hmm. Two alpha males mm -hmm. running the store wasn't uh, mm -hmm. working out. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, you know, um, do you think uh, that the fashion market within this time changed the approach to the fashion industry within those generations? I'm sure it changed, but how do you see the change uh, since you are here? Wow! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, we're in a business. It's all about change, right? I mean, it's it's changing today. I think it changes more rapid. And uh, and Calgary, as the population grows, as soon as we uh, burst over a million in population, the, the town becomes more cultural. There's more places to wear fashion, and uh, there's a lot of rule breakers. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's more exciting today than I think in my lifetime. Um, seeing so many beautiful clothes and uh, accessories and shoes, um, mostly clothes, I have to say. Uh, where do you actually source your fabrics and your textiles and uh, your suits? And I think still the, the finest fabrics in the world are you know coming out of Europe, and uh, we, we have a lot of production out of Europe. But we, I mean, at Supreme here, we try to get as much from Canada as possible. Right? There's there's great manufacturing in Canada, so. We highlight that, I think, in a big way here, right? Yes. And, um, you know, um, how uh, do you make, how you make sure that your customers have a great experience? Because for these days, it's all about the customer uh, service and great experience. How do, you, how do you ensure that when they are leaving the store, they will come back? Yeah, I mean, that's something you work on every day. You know, you continually try to perfect that. You want consistency. Mm -hmm. you, want to have, you want to have the time to offer everybody a complimentary cappuccino. And, uh, and I think the basis for our experience is no commission. We're in an industry which is heavily weighted towards commission and, and that uh, everybody suffers. You know, it maybe helps the bottom line. Obviously, that's why it's... Uh, so popular, but I think it, uh, the clients feel it, the team feels it, so we do, we do not have that. We have team incentives so that you get a full experience. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to um, the store um, and the trends, and uh, how would you describe Supreme Menswear style? Yeah, I think unique, you know, it's, it's uh, a friend of mine has a uh, saying, as usual, the unusual. and. Uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, take that from him, but really that is a foundation of what we are here. We we dig in the corners at every opportunity to find something just a little bit special, a little different. We want that you're walking down the street, somebody can point you out and say, they must be shopping at Supreme. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Darren, you are the owner of the store. You are kind of face of the boutique. How would you describe your personal style? Do you think you're more following the trends or you're more like a timeless, uh, say, be? Yeah, I think it's that's tough to see. You get something you believe in. Let's say I would believe in uh, vests or waistcoats, as we call them. And I always put that in my collection. And I've been doing that for a decade. And now it's becoming very popular. But it's not like I invented the uh, the waistcoat. It's just something I believed in. Or a, uh, or a peak lapel or something. You have a, a feeling. And what's nice is there's no right or wrong today. People can wear what they're comfortable in. And I think that once you put the right outfit on, you can feel how you feel. I want to, you know, I want everybody to come in here to feel, to feel their best, and, and you can you can sense that when they try something on, right? Yes. And um, just uh, summarizing, like um, being in that industry for quite a while, you see the changes. How do you think the fashion industry in general change in in Calgary? Well, I think yeah, you. You just have to go out and, and, and look around. I mean, it wasn't long ago people would always say that Montreal was the fashion capital of Canada, and, and I would say 
and Calgary has probably some of the best independent retailers in the country and, and uh, we're some very talented people out there wanting to uh, you know share our life's experience with people coming in the door and the, the Calgary clientele let's say generation uh, Y they're more informed they I mean they have access to all the fashion information and they have, they have more knowledge coming in what they're looking for right well, uh, thank you so much, Darren. Uh, I, I have to say I love shopping here. Well, not myself, but for for uh, men, uh, for my husband. But uh, uh, definitely great uh, place to, to shop and to, to visit. And if you haven't had a chance to be here, that's definitely must-check spot in Calgary. Thank you so much, Darren. All right. Darren. Thanks, Anya.